friend Lori Minetti from Easter Seals, Oklahoma, joins us here in the studio. Good afternoon. I'm Dave Morris. Lori, great to see you again. Good to see you too. Thanks for um, thanks for coming in today. I know you were tackling some things with the kiddos, suffered a suffered a toe uh, circumstance, <laughs> and you yes. were powering through to tell yes. us about two things today that Easter Seals, Oklahoma has coming up the big three event and then uh, nominations are still open for the annual Inspire Awards. Let's start there. What are yes. the Inspire Awards? The Inspire Awards are is our annual event where we um, focus on raising money to support all the services that we provide in the community and we honor individuals, organizations or groups and corporations who have done a lot on behalf of people with disabilities in our community and this is the first time that we're opening it up for nominations to the community. Okay. So if you know someone that you know, or a company that you work for, or an organization or group that has done a lot on behalf of people with disabilities in our community, we're asking for people to please send in your nomination. Very good, you can go online, uh, the website eastersealsok.org uh, and find it from there. The, uh, there you go, page is all over there in the studio. In the control room, uh, you opened up nominations a little while ago. The deadline is Monday, April 10th, right? Yes, Monday, April 10th. So please be sure to get your nomination in by then, and our committee will review and make selection and narrow it down to the top three in each category, and we'll reveal that night, October 21st, at Science Museum Oklahoma, who will be receiving the awards. Um, remind us about last year's recipients. Who were they? Well, we honored Leading Age Oklahoma, which is a nonprofit advocacy group that works on behalf of um, nonprofit nursing homes and adult day centers. And we have an adult day center where we take care of adults 18 and up with disabilities. Um, we also honored Dr. Robert Salinas. He is a, a doctor who works with geriatric patients, and he also is a teaching doctor at OU. And he does a lot on behalf of people with disabilities and brings over OU medical students to learn about adult adult day and how um, how it works so that they are educated in that area and we also offer we also honored homeland stores and we've been a partner they've been a partner of ours for over 30 years and they do a lot for Easter Seals Oklahoma and That's they great. also hire a lot of people with disabilities in their stores if you've ever gone in and done grocery shopping they are very accommodating to people with disabilities and to their their families good for homeland that's yes. great um, so why the new category this year? Why opening it up? Why opening up the nominations to something different this year? Well, last year was our first time doing it, and we really wanted to honor those who we felt had really done a lot to um, help Easter Seals Oklahoma. This year, we wanted to give that opportunity to other people and let them see about who they feel like should be honored. And so we just felt like it would be a good opportunity to, we know that there's so many different organizations sure. and companies that maybe we aren't aware of that have done a lot of work in Oklahoma, and we want to have that opportunity to honor them. So once again, you have until Monday, April 10th, uh, submit nominations, eastersealsok.org is the website for that. Now, we mentioned something else. You have it right in front of you, the yes. Big Three event. Yes, we are excited. Um, this is something new, I'm not sure. Right, there there go. we go. This is um, a great event. We've, basically what we've done is we've combined our spring carnival with our open house. And so we're going to have um, the Sugar Free All Stars come and perform at 5:45 p.m. Chris Weiser, um, Dr. Rock. Yes, it, it's Friday, April 21st, from 5 to 6:30 p.m. in the evening. We're going to have a bounce house. We'll have face painting. Um, we'll have various food trucks there. It's just a really great opportunity to invite the community and to learn about what we what we do, but also have a fun time on a Friday evening. So it's open to the community. We would love for anyone and everyone to come check out Easter Seals Oklahoma on April 21st. So that'll be at your location, a chance yes. to kind of walk around, ask some questions, mm -hmm. see the facility. Yes, yeah, we'll have a miniature therapy horse, which we've had before in the fall. I'm not sure if Reba will be here or not, but that was the miniature therapy horse that had okay. visited us last year. And she'll be in the garden of our adult day center. So um, there'll be incentive to come inside and check out our facility and learn about what it is that we do. We have, like I mentioned earlier, we have our adult day center, but we also have a school that's inclusive that's for children ages two through kindergarten. And inclusion means that we have typical children included in a classroom environment with children with disabilities. And they're in, in the environment together all day long learning together. We also offer um, speech therapy, occupational therapy, and behavioral therapy on site too for children in our school and children in our community up through the teenage years. 
chatting with Lori Minetti. She's the development director for Easter Seals, Oklahoma. Um, and so looking ahead, speaking of the school, open enrollment. Yes, yes, we do. We are open for enrollment for the fall. So if you know anyone that is looking for a place for their child, whether they're typical or a child with a special need, we encourage you to give us a call at 405-239-2525 to check out to see if we would be a good fit for you. Um, like I said, we take children ages two through kindergarten, and we do have several openings in our kinder kindergarten class for the fall. Very good. So open enrollment for the fall. You can look into that or stop by the Big Three event. See it live in person. Again, yes. that is Friday, April 21st, from 5 to 6.30 p.m. She mentioned the location over on 13th Street, 701 Northeast 13th Street. And then nominations for the Inspire Awards are uh, available online uh, Monday, April 10th is the deadline, that event, October 21st. Anything else, Lori? I think that about covers it. Um, other, well, I'll mention one more thing. Um, since this is a fundraising event, the Inspire Awards, we are looking for sponsors for the event. So if that's something that you would be interested in, your company, we are more than willing to, to talk to you about that and let you know all the different sponsorship levels that, that we have. And they can call me, Laurie, at 405-239-2525. Very good, Lori. We appreciate your time as always. Thank you.